Hey, this is not a spring ticket. I'm just so happy to be out here at the beach today. And as you can notice, well, it's nice and gorgeous and sunny. But it is cold! Otherwise, we'd be down there. But anyway, I'm here with old Cam for MBN News video of OS Lenoa. Um, comments and the lines up today. Um, the horrible job numbers. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, on Thursday, they let it out that there was going to be uh, an uptick. Uh, for the fourth straight month and uh, of over 220,000 jobs. Well, today they released a re-advised figure for three of the last four months, and today they missed their total by uh, over 100,000. The uptick, that they would not have rise upwards for three of the last four months. It was a downward thing. It's the Obama administration trying to hide bad news on a day that he knows the market is down, and that a lot of the news people went away for the weekend. And political correctness removed. God loves the USA from Ice Greenland song. Uh, I know. Well, what's the deal? I know. Basically, it's ridiculous. I mean, uh, because they're, uh, the uh, the church, I mean, a school decided we can't have anything with religious connotations in it. And it didn't. What are religious connotations? They could be a modern god, a Hindu god, a Buddhist god. It just said God. There was no, there was no specific thing about any one religion. There was a song. I mean, they're not gonna. Okay. They also removed the God and God bless America for the same. Are you serious? Yeah. They did. Oh, and what happened was they removed it. They put it back in. They removed it. The stuff. They put it back in. So now what they've decided to do is to let. If you don't want to sing about it, talk, sing about God, you don't have to mention the word. That's something. Democrats are in charge, and it's all political correctness. I mean, the same thing as we did a thing on Easter, and they have moved A.D. and B.C. from the history books now. And now it's C.E. Which is a uh, common, common era, era or common era. The problem is they actually or mean current era. Our current, but it's also current. It's also common era or current era. Mm -hmm. When they basically the emphasis is on era, not era. E.R.A. Mm -hmm. And Americans brace for the next foreclosure wave. Uh, Monday, everything was next before. They bottomed out Monday, and they worked, uh, and, and, and mortgage rates were going to start climbing. Uh, as of today, their the second mortgage price is hitting, and it's hitting for exactly the same reason the first one hit. They don't What's have that? the money to pay for the gas. You decide which do you pay for? The four dollars a gallon gas, or do you pay your mortgage payment? So they'd rather have the job, so they, you know, it, it's costing them more under Obama than it did under Bush, so. Um, Democrats alter tune on gas prices. Presidents have no power to alter gas prices. Yeah, that's, uh, it was under Bush. Bush was responsible for everything, but don't worry. They blame the fact that Obama's problem, Obama can't do anything on George Bush and his cronies in the, in the, in the petroleum industry. I hate to tell people that most of the cronies are in the Democratic Party, not among the Republicans. All of those millionaires and billionaires are Democrats, not Republicans. And Americans brace for the next, next foreclosure wave. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's going to be worse than the first, because this one is not only going to be uh, uh, private residence, it's also going to be uh, businesses. You know, the shopping centers and business sites are getting ready to come down this time. Well, they're overbuilt. And if Augusta knows what's best for them, they will do what Obama has ordered them to do or suffer the consequences. I know. They said Obama has given them three years to change their attitude, and if they won't change their attitude, he'll probably have to take action against the, the golf club. I um, mean, come on. No, it's the way, okay, they, uh, what they're going to do is SEIU will probably pick at the club. There'll probably be lots of automobiles with their windows smashed out, lots of tire slash. you got to understand something about Augusta. It's who belongs to Augusta. The people that belong to Augusta basically eat people alive from the city of Chicago. Don't do that. If you want to fight the people with Augusta, that with Augusta, if you bring a howitzer, they're going to be in your train line of cannon. These are, these are old people that have dealt with people that have basically tried to bring change to them for decades. When you threaten them, they basically threaten back real quickly. And uh, they said that uh, Augusta will become a very, will not only become uh, less 
you know, uh, open, it will not, uh, you will not see the tournament on television ever again if Obama and his people push it. Oh, before. really? They threatened it before, and they will do it. It's not something, Augusta does not need money to hold the Masters. They can hold the Masters with just the players and still come up with a million, uh, million, two million dollar prize. Well, and Augusta has that tradition and the players want it. There's nothing like the masters. And that's right. I mean, so that they don't allow black people and women and minorities on their course during the rest of the week. So it's a private course. It's a they private get, club. They get no money. Here's the trick is, women are not being, men are not being allowed to join the women's events. Yet they demand that women be allowed to come to the men's clubs. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, there's you, a reason why there's men's and women's it's political correctness. A, a baseball player that could do nothing but hit home runs and should have had 700 was tossed out of baseball because he filed a... I mean, he just hit 49 home runs a season four. They, no one was signing the next year when he was a free agent because he had tossed a woman out of the dressing room when he was in the shower room and taking a shower. And he had not only tossed her out, he filed a complaint about her, you know, uh, about peeping Tom complaint, so... Yeah, it's political and correct. You gotta remember, most of the owners of sporting teams are Democrats, not Republicans. Oh yeah, I just forgot about that. And Divorce Expo, one stop shop for all your divorce needs. Oh, now that's a new one. I know. Why in the world would you uh, who in the world would go to a divorce expo in Los Angeles Convention Center? Are you serious? Yeah. Maybe I'm, we should go just to see what's happening. Yeah, I think it was this week so, but I mean, uh, that you know. That's a new one, though, a divorce expo. Oh, they got a guy now. They got a guy in the day that's running a business, training white collar people how to handle going to prison. Well, he said yes because he said you have to understand that the the white collar the white collar criminals have a tendency to be uh, the, to associate more with the guards and the prison staff than they do with the community, and they're teaching them that they can't do that. Yeah, I know. Well, because it used to be white collar crimes were put in a in a in a different area. Now they're putting them in the general population. Oh, they and, are. Yeah. I know that. I know it's not it's not really intelligent to do. But. That's not real smart. And balance, or maybe that's supposed to be like a deterrent. It doesn't work because most of the people don't get caught. And bowing to the bands of the left, Coca-Cola halts ties to conservative law crafters. Once. Yeah, no, they, there was no balancing the demands of the left. They basically decided that they were terrified of the president of the United States and the Democratic Party. So they, okay, Coca-Cola is situated in an odd situation. It is not a left-wing city, folks. So going to the left in the south is not going to make you any brownie points with that. With the southern states where your headquarters are. Not in no. Yeah, and nursing director thinks she was a target of shooter. No, because people are getting uh, they're really getting tired of uh, of of the health care system in our country because you know instead of things getting better under Obama, they've just simply gotten far worse. And judges Obama review questioned by legal experts. Oh yeah, the Obama people say that the judge had no right. Well, unfortunately. What most of the press has not bothered to tell you is that judge has a case in front of him at the moment dealing with whether the court has a legal right to rule something unconstitutional. And if it's the view of the Justice Department, which was not the view of those people either in front of him, that uh, they no longer have the right, the judge wanted to know if the, view, if the brief that they had given him was a false brief. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah, they, uh, they're neglecting to point out that minor fact that there is a case right now sitting on that document in the house of the judge. Right? Some of Obama's law students work for that judge. And they said the judge what? listed, no, that they, uh, they said that that judge is listed as a left leaning, left leaning fair judge. So that's why they hurriedly got something back to him because he's one of their people. And they pissed ah, him off. Ah, they must have really pissed him off. Though. Yeah. And well, pink slime labels restore shoppers' confidence. No, it's kind of basically. It the, slime. It's the additive they add the hamburger to, you know, to, to preserve. So you can use the hamburger will set on the shelf. Basically, what it means now is without an additive, the stuff is going to. Do. Obama is against anything that preserves food. 
and he will destroy any business that preserve that's in the preservative business. He it's has no that, clue. That's what that does to business in general. It destroys the businesses, but he has no clue. You have to have these things. So. Yeah, and a haunted bubble is a little far away.